is discrimination. Business as usual at the company founded by Mayor Bloomberg. The mayor still owns a majority of Bloomberg LP, but so far he's refusing to comment on a new sexual discrimination lawsuit involving more than 50 women. CBS 2's Sean Hennessy has more. It's been said a company's culture flows from the top line down. So what does it say about Bloomberg LP, where 58 women have joined a lawsuit claiming that both while pregnant and after maternity leave, they were discriminated against? Where there's smoke, there's fire. Steve Viscusi has written two books on the workplace and says the discrimination allegedly happening inside this financial information company is a generational thing. And it needs to be weeded out by these whistleblowers. Clearly, it's been well hidden there. Clearly, it exists. When the first women came forward last fall, the billionaire businessman distanced himself from the company he founded. I haven't had anything to do with running it. But the next day... I am the majority owner and I'm absolutely entitled to talk to the senior people and know what's going on. The lawsuit and the besmirching of the Bloomberg name have clearly hit a nerve. During his budget presentation, the mayor spoke on a number of unrelated topics, but not this one. What has this got to do with the budget? Then uh, we just said, we just said, I just thought you said, you, you, sir, no, thank you very much. I have absolutely no idea. I'll have to talk to the company, and next time, don't bother to ask us a question. We stick to topic. Everybody else plays by the rules. You'll just have to as well. Thank you very much. And with that, he walked away, but his company's legal problems may not be doing the same. Even the hint of this happening should be, his antenna should be up, and he should immediately be looking into it, just as he would as anything in government. Today, a Bloomberg LP emailed me a statement pointing out it has 6,000 employees here in the U.S. and that there have been less than two dozen lawsuits filed since the company was founded back in 1981, that several suits have been dismissed, and that the company expects the same for this suit. But then I asked the company directly if these women were discriminated against. So far, no response. We're still waiting. Dana?